Hey guys, my name is Elijah. Welcome to 85 Studios. <clears throat> I'm just sitting here. Um, not a lot's going on. Uh, I should be sleeping. I've got work tonight. Uh, but I, I keep thinking about things and I. I don't know. I'm. I'm kind of a mess. I am, uh. I'm not even really sure where to. what to say or even where to begin explaining this, but. Um. I don't know. I just have so many thoughts that just keep. You know, you, you get to the point where. You have so many thoughts, they just keep interrupting each other, and then you can't even have a clear thought process without one thing leading into another, and then into another, and into another. It, it's very annoying, very frustrating. Um, jeez, I don't even have a goal right now, I don't even know what to think, um, I, uh, <clears throat> I guess I just kind of got bored, so I turned on the camera. Um, I didn't make a video yesterday because I didn't have enough time and I didn't have uh, any ideas. So, yeah, I, I guess uh, for a daily video blog, I... I really don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I'm going to uh, grab my shoes, uh, go out to the mailbox, take Sapphire with me, and go uh, check the mail and probably lay it back down and get some sleep. I I've been so I, you know how after you drink a uh, monster energy drink, you just like, I mean, it, it's weird, it, it only can do so much, you know, I mean, and I've been not sleeping, haven't been very hungry, so I haven't been eating, um, get these, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but these dark circles under my eyes that won't go away, uh, I don't even know what's bothering me, or why. Um, I haven't a clue. <clears throat> it's t frustrating, you know? When you don't know what the hell's going on, you know something's wrong. I mean... I just... I don't know. I'm not sleeping. I'm not very hungry, so I haven't been eating. Um, I've been dehydrated, but I've been trying to drink water. A lot of water. Um, but I've been drinking a lot of caffeine to try and stay awake, because I'm always tired. Because I never sleep. Uh, I'm a mess. And I never feel good. I mean, like when I was a kid, I could get up out of bed, both feet, you know, jump onto the floor and just take off, you know, and do whatever the hell ever I wanted. I don't know. Is this what getting old feels like? Well, I hope to God not. Maybe I hopefully got a few more years left. The biggest thing that bothers me is I've got no ideas. Um, I thought about a lot of the suggestions that I was given in the comments on a couple of my videos, um, doing compilations and stuff like that. And sure, the channels that have compilations on them and stuff are popular, but that stuff, that kind of stuff, it's already all been done, every bit of it. I mean, you look on the, uh, you do a search for YouTube on YouTube for compilations, 
what are you going to find? Compilations. Miles and miles of them. As far as the eye can see. You can just basically unlimited scrolling. Challenges. That's, it's already been done before too. All of it. Anything I could possibly think of has already been done. And it's it's occurred to me time and again that if you have a YouTube channel and you're a newer YouTube channel and you're not known for doing one particular thing, um, basically you never are going to grow because unless people just happen to stumble onto your content and like your channel and hit like and subscribe, then, or if somebody shares it, then, I mean... They're never, nobody's ever going to see it. But, I do this more as a, kind of a hobby thing, and I guess it's, some of it's kind of fun, um, motivating, I guess. But, I'll be honest with you, it's tedious, um, and, uh, especially making a video every day very tedious, time consuming, and there's no reward for it, no, nothing rewarding about it. I mean, I meet new people, but hell, I could meet other people in the comments on YouTube, I've got Facebook, I've got all these other places, Twitter, whatever. I mean, and with no comments on my channel, really. Um, I don't, I mean, I've, I've, I continue looking at the stats for the channel, the comments and all that, but I'm not really seeing anything or anyone in there. Uh, I tried doing electronics videos, tried doing, uh, like drone videos, paranormal videos, um, stuff like that, but... I, I don't know. Guys, I, I've i always struggled with one thing, and that is um, my biggest, weakest link, is being able to come up with ideas and be able to creatively articulate them to the channel. Um, because reality, what's in reality, and what I have, the capabilities that I have, and what's up here aren't always the same. They they mismatch. See, up here I can do wonderful, great things. I can make any video I want to make. I have multiple, multiple ideas. But it's never while the camera's on. Um, it's usually when I'm walking somewhere, when I'm at work, uh, when I'm somewhere where... I'm outside of my studio, outside of my comfort zone, uh, when I'm bored somewhere, or, you know, what have you. It's never an idea that's readily available, and there's never, it's never a time when I've got something to, like, write with or write it down or whatever. You know, try to trap it in my memory, and then it, it just, it's like it flies away uh, over a certain amount of time if I don't, uh, either write it down or something, you know, but I mean, I'm, I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter, I'm a guitarist, um, I do electronics, computers, uh, I mean, I like things like drones and, um, you know, stuff like that, I do videos like that. And, I mean, I, I don't know. It seems like the older I get, the less creative I get. It's like something is gone that used to be so strong in me. And it also seems like the older I get, the more... Uh, it's like, oh, it's almost like depression, you know? 
it's like uh, uh, something in me that hasn't been fulfilled that has to be fulfilled and I mean at one point in time I thought it was YouTube you know because like oh well I'm gonna go show people about myself and maybe they'll like me you know I just be myself and that's what everybody says just be yourself well I've been myself all my life and I've been on YouTube for almost three years now and the channel stats are publicly available you see how well that works out um, I don't know I don't know just thoughts guys just thoughts uh, but I do know one thing I haven't been feeling well um, haven't been sick like you know like flu like symptoms or anything but um been dehydrated i've been tired lack of sleep i've been uh like it's really weird i'll have like huge bursts of energy and then like i'll just like flatline um i don't know what that's all about blood sugars seem to be okay most of the time they're high but within a certain threshold and then uh... oh god guys you know what I let's cut the bullshit day before yesterday something happened that really made me think about uh, life and, and some things that God, how do you yeah, how do you find the words? Okay. Um, all right, I'll try. Um, there's there's a a truck driver that is I'm not going to say his name on here cuz that would be obvious invasion of privacy and and he's a really good guy and I don't want to uh cause any problems for him, but um he's uh he's a driver that delivers um every Wednesday morning we give delivery to my store where I work um, and I work night shifts so I see him in the morning and everybody else sees him in the morning well um, he okay first of all there was a mix-up with the truck so we got the wrong truck and then um, the other driver he says okay I got your I've got your shipment here but I don't know where your driver is the driver uh, this other driver that came with the wrong truck, um, they eventually figured it out, and our driver, uh, got there. Um, let's call this, our driver, I'm gonna call him, uh, James, okay? Just, uh, the people that know me personally in real life and know, uh, what the situation is, don't comment his real name, please, because it's, it's kind of a privacy thing. I'm gonna call him, uh, James. So, uh, James calls, he says he'll be there around 6 o'clock in the morning, and James, um, he didn't let on that he was feeling bad or anything, he wasn't, he seemed seemingly fine, you know, uh, he gets there, he unloads the tobacco products, the big cartons of cigarettes and the, the great big totes full of rolled tobacco and stuff like that, so I can count them and start putting them away. I check off on the sheet and everything, and meanwhile he's pulling in uh, freezer and refrigerated goods. Um, he gets, I uh, know he hadn't gotten to refrigerator and frozen yet. Um, he uh, was pulling in things like motor oil and stuff like that because we're we're a full we're a gas station we're we're a big gas station, and uh, I'm. I, I suddenly get a rush of customers. I've got like maybe 10, 15 people up there. And of course it's Wednesday morning. Everybody's going to work. Um, and uh, I, I'm i in the middle of helping a customer and my boss, the store manager, I'm not going to say her name either um, for her privacy sake. Um, 
she says, uh, my name, and I look up, and I was in the middle of helping these customers, I got a line, but she says, uh, I need to call an ambulance. I look, and she's holding, trying to hold James up, but he's looking like he's going to fall down, like he's passing out. So I told my customer, please give me a minute, I got to call an ambulance. So they were, they were cool customers, they waited, they are patient, and I called an ambulance. Um, and answered the questions that the dispatcher had to say, and I really didn't know much about what was going on. I just knew that the guy was in trouble and I wanted to help him, you know, in any way I could. Um, so, I they're asking me the, all these questions that I, I don't know the answer to. Um, I don't know what's going on. All I see is across the store, the guy looks like he's going to pass out. I know he's diabetic. Um like I am, and uh, so I, I come around the counter with the phone and I say, okay, uh, let, let's call my manager, uh, I'll throw a name out, uh, Linda, my, my manager Linda, um, I hand her the phone and um, she's closer to James, so um, she knows what's going on with him, and uh, she can more accurately tell the dispatcher what's going on and talk to the dispatcher while I help my customers. And this whole time, I'm over here looking at James, and I'm trying to keep my mind on my register and on my money and on my customers. And, and I'm this whole time, I'm just really worried about James because he's a friend of mine. I've known him for almost three years now. He's been my driver delivering products to my store for three years every week Wednesday every Wednesday for three years and uh, I asked um, well the, the ambulance eventually got got there and uh, uh, I went ahead and I shut off the ignition of the truck I didn't shut off the freezer or the refrigerated trailer because I didn't want the food because the heat carries the food for several other convenience stores and that kind of stuff in there that has to be kept cold I shut the engine off on the truck, uh, but I left the generator on on the trailer so that the cooler would keep running. Uh, took the keys out of the ignition of the, of the semi and um, locked the door and uh, brought them back in to uh, Linda, my store manager. And uh, the truck was still there, sitting there. Um, th they called somebody from the distribution center where the driver was from and uh, they're clear up in uh, Missouri and the guy said he would take about three hours to get there uh, so they ended up leaving the truck there and I ended up coming home at, at 8 o'clock a.m. off of my shift uh, when my uh, relief crew got there so I was worried about this yesterday I was worried about the guy I, I don't know exactly what happened um, but I asked this morning when I saw Linda again, my boss, um, and uh, she said that uh, James got transferred to a specialist, another hospital, and that his kidneys might be shutting down. So. It weighed heavily on my mind yesterday, really, really bad, and it's still weighing really heavy on my mind, and I don't know, um, poor guy, and I know that it's related to his diabetic condition, the same condition I have, I don't know how old he is, he's probably in his late 40s, but he's a really good guy, he's always been a good friend, um, you know, he comes in and I'm, if I'm upset, if I'm sad, if I'm looking or whatever, tired or whatever, he'll always say something to make me laugh, he's a good guy, he's a funny guy, and, uh, just, I feel really bad for him, and, uh, 
to think that he's either dying or he's going to be on dialysis or his kidneys failing and seeing him uh, passing out like that where he was losing consciousness it really it really it uh it did something to me and uh i mean i've been having problems for a while myself health problems but jesus there's a time when you look at yourself and then you look at other people and you realize that You almost care about other people more than you care about yourself. Externally, for sure. I mean, you care about yourself, yeah. But it seems like what happens to other people who I care about affects me more than anything that could ever happen to me. And I don't really understand that, but I know it's there. I can feel it. And when something like that happens, it, it really hits me hard. So, I'm not going to say his real name, but he's a, he's a driver. My driver for my store's delivery. He's a good guy. One of few good people in the world that I've met that I know and that I've known for a long time. And I just hope he's all right. But yeah, I, I haven't been sleeping well. I haven't been eating well. I've been dehydrated. I've been drinking way too much caffeine to compensate for the lack of sleep and that's what's dehydrating me. I haven't had much energy, and it's like I say, when these uh, work weeks start in, roll around, um, I'm going to come off work and I'm going to be tired, I'm going to be frustrated, I'm going to be stressed out, um, that's just the way it is. So the videos aren't going to be great, I'm sorry about that, I apologize sincerely for that. Um, but I don't know what I can do about that. This is me being me. This is the real me. And this is the genu genuine me. I, uh, I don't know what else to say. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, Thanks for subscribing, thanks for being friends, thanks for being there, thanks for being a community. Like, comment, subscribe. Do what you can to be happy.